guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to take you thrifting with me and hopefully I am going to find some cool um, things that I can upcycle and DIY into plant pots. So I'm really excited. I'm combining my two loves, plants and thrifting. Um, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. Slightly nervous um, for filming in public, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Let's go. Okay, so I've made it into town. I've got a really good car park. I'm gonna pay for parking, go get a coffee, and then wait for the shops to open, and then go thrift shopping. So excited. Fake plants, eighteen dollars. <laughs> wow. Yuck. Don't be put off if you see things like this, because you can always spray paint them your desired colour to match with your aesthetic. There's two of them there. This could make a cute propagation rack. Pop some jars in there, put your cuttings in. Okay, so I'm at my last stop. I really hope I find something because I've only found two things. Um, wish me luck. This place is pretty big, so Hopefully I'll find something. Um, this is Habitat for Humanity. Okay guys, I am back from my thrift shopping now and I'm just going to do a little haul of the things that I picked up. So the first thing I picked up, which I wasn't planning on picking up, was actually this cute little Fetonia. Um, I saw this, it was only $8 and I thought it would look cute in one of the things I thrifted for this video, so I got that. The next thing I got is two cane hoops. I 
fashion. <laughs> anyway, got two hoops. I also picked up this basket with this massive um, oversized handle. And I actually have a great idea for this. Well, I think it's a great idea. And I always see these at my local thrift shop. Um, so these two things together was only $2. Cheap, exciting. Um, I actually picked up this for myself. It's a bag of fake ivy. It's for my Halloween costume. And the only other two things I got were this cute little pottery um, container. Uh, this was only two dollars and I am planning on drilling a hole through the bottom so wish me luck on that one. And this other thing I got is interesting so it's this <laughs> It's um, terracotta or clay. It has three holes around the rim, so I'm assuming it used to be some sort of hanging basket. It has a hole in the bottom and it is very dirty and disgusting, but I have plans to upcycle this into a beautiful hanging planter. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, slim pickings today, actually. Um, but I'm pretty excited to see what I can come up with with these things that I've got. So let's just jump into the DIY. I've got my basket and the beauty of this DIY is you actually don't have to do anything to it. You basically just are putting your plant in the basket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the hooks from the nursery pot um, and caref carefully unwrap this Hoya from itself. Now I am going to put the nursery pot inside the basket. Oh, guys! Boys, it was made for it. Look, it fits in there perfectly. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so what I might do is because it's got two tendrils, I wonder if I should wrap them on one side or swap sides. I don't know. I shall see. Cool, okay, there we go. My Hoya Australis is wrapped around its new climbing frame. I'm happy with it, I really like how it turned out. I really don't have the most ideal filming setup ever, but um, you know, you work with what you've got. And I've already got glue stuck on the table. <laughs> okay, so the hot glue gun is basically just here to tack things in place. And now with this copper wire, I am going to wrap it around the places that I've glued.
So as you can see, I've wrapped the bases with the copper wire. That's what it looks like there, and you can see the top. And this is just gonna give you an idea of what it is gonna become. How rad are my new cl clubs? Cups. Crazy plant lady on that side. And swap hands. Okay, so I don't really care for the black around the edge of this pot. Um, I did try and sand it off, but I think that's going to be too hard. So I've got some white acrylic paint and a little paintbrush and I'm going to paint over the black with the white instead. Um, it's much more my aesthetic, you know. Oh, and also before I before I start painting, I've given this a really good wash so it's nice and clean. Um, the inside is a bit stained but you won't see that because obviously you'll have your plant in there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get painting. Okay, now that the paint is all dry, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is creating the strings to actually hang this up to make a hanging planter. Um, and for that, I am using this natural jute cording. I really like the natural vibe. That's sort of what I go for. Um, sort of like a natural boho -y aesthetic, I guess. Okay, cute! I love it! So, this is what it looks like with the three strings in. It is now a hanging planter. Okay guys, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite upcycle was in the comment box below. And also if you recreate any of these, I would love to see them. Um, so please tag me on Instagram, at wildvineplants. I would love, love, love to see them. Even if they're not like the same, even if they're similar, like show me, I wanna see them. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.